inspiring in so many ways. Come on over, y'all. Y'all look great. Y'all look yes. like a, a musician right. band or something coming over here. Come on now. <laughs> this, vibes, right? this, is yeah. <laughs> this is great. How are you? And this you? is an award for Outstanding Achievement for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion short form content of Marianne's Story. So let's go ahead and introduce yourselves, please. Hi, my name is Marissa Van Clay. I'm the Director of Production with Spirit Juice Studios. I'm Rob Kasmark with Spirit Juice. And I'm Susan Barrett. I'm with Aid for Women and the Executive Director. This is huge. Uh, DEI short form. Talk about how you were able to tell this story. I'm just looking at the, uh, the, the describer here. The description says, a Colombian woman faced many challenges traveling from her hometown to Chicago, Illinois. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we were so honored to be able to work with Aid for Women to tell Mariana's story. Um, she really faced so many struggles on her way all the way from Colombia through Mexico up into the United States. And so um, we were able to interview her and some other people who supported her with Aid for Women uh, in order to tell her story. She, she was pregnant at the time she was making this dangerous travel. Yeah, so um, at Aid for Women, we've been in the Chicago area since 1978, and we operate eight pregnancy help centers and two maternity homes. And Mariana and her boyfriend just decided to travel from Colombia to the U.S., um, hoping to find uh, better times and more prosperity. And they traveled all the way through the Darien Gap and um, traveled by foot all the way. It's dangerous. And it's very dangerous. dangerous. And then when they were um, just... Um, south of the U.S., uh, close to the border, um, she was kind of kidnapped by cartels um, that kind of wanted her baby. She was like eight or nine months at that time. And so it was very dangerous all along the way, but she found her way to Chicago and she moved into our maternity homes and um, we, we were able to provide her safety and comfort and the love that she was looking for. So is this a story with a happy ending? Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. Uh -huh. That's huge. That's um, wonderful to hear. I want, I want to ask you really quickly, because I know you played a role in this, a huge role in this. When you're doing a story like this, what going into it, you have a goal, but it always changes sometimes, almost always, in what we do in storytelling. How did this change for you guys in terms of the goal here? You know, you go into this with an open mind. You, you know uh, the basis of the story, but you, you see it evolve. And uh, we've had the pleasure of working with, with Sue and A for Women for a number of years. This is actually the second Emmy we've won with Aww. them. And uh, it, it really is one of those things where um, you're open to the experience and you, you just want to capture it. And the work they do, it's truly, truly life-changing for so many women. Um, and so we're just uh, feel very privileged to help support and show, just shine a light on the work that they're doing. Congratulations to your whole team, and uh, it's wonderful to hear that Mariana is doing well, and hopefully her baby is well. Yeah. Thank so, you for your work. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you guys. We're going to roll in some more guests, if you guys don't thank mind. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, <laughs> yes. Have fun. Enjoy the rest thank of the you. evening. Yeah, seriously. I, again, y'all look great, man. Thank you. I'm yeah. just, I feel like I should change. I feel like I should go back home and change. No, you look good. You look good. <laughs> you look great, too. But let me too. tell you, that is awesome to see everybody celebrating, oh, yeah. and then also the fashion.